went over the puddle quite fast and obviously his uh, under tray has flipped on itself so it's unable to drive we are there we're gonna lift the car up on the plank support because the car is too low for us to um, put it around Right, mate, look. What that one? Is that somebody breaking yeah, into it? Yeah, somebody's breaking into it, mate. See, just to get this video, yeah. my phone's dropped, but luckily hasn't smashed the main screen. <laughs> Always something happening, mate. So we're just jacking it up. David, uh, Dylan, just make sure it's on metal, you see. Hopefully it doesn't slip. So uh, we've just got it on the jacking point. Obviously it's a high performance car and quite low. Too low. Too it low. Turns too low. Out. You must have been over a big puddle. Oh is it? It came yeah. up to about here 
Wow. And the, then the light came on, you know, object approaching. And I, th I thought, I'm going to get stuck here. It's going to stop. You're very lucky, though. I was lucky because I was in the middle. Could have been worse. Of literally nowhere, no farmhouses, nothing. Yeah. Pitch black pissing it down. I should have known better, but it turns out I've phoned my friends up there this morning. They're stuck the rivers come up high one side really? and where I was at the other side you know they're stuck there for you know until it goes down you can just watch that side mate because the jack in the jack doesn't have a plastic pad I'll keep an eye on it now. yeah well, I don't know it might be best put a tire or something on the other car so at least if it did something happen that at least yeah, gonna fall on the tire idea. All sorts, mate. We get bangers, <laughs> two high performance cars. So, 99% of the time, we get cars like this coming in, standard cars, but can that be fixed? That can be fixed. <laughs> really? You're right to go on the video, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do, mate, for a living? I develop flats and houses in London. Wow. I, I build things. Fantastic, mate. You see this one here? Yeah. We will show you a video when this car is ready. This is something we do as well. Got yeah, yeah, take some pictures. Oh, you're more than welcome. Just watch that recovery, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna put some tires underneath, so if the car does fall, at least Dylan's got his life. We don't want to lose Dylan. We can lose the car, but we don't want to lose Dylan. Then a Dylan. I nearly lost my phone. The gimbal dropped. I nearly lost my phone. So it's a lovely Sunday morning. We've got a customer here. He's rang me saying that his car's obviously hit a puddle. But I didn't know it's going to be one of these. So we can't really take it on the ramp because it's too low. So we're happily jacking it up. And as you can see, we're gonna take the under tray off. Beautiful day, Saturday morning. It's under tray, it's not fixable. Yeah, well. yeah, no, we're gonna have to yeah. just take that off. We're gonna have to bin that. To He's got 26 fixings, yeah. and I've got little. Your hand ring is on, though, isn't it, mate? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. So, what is this vehicle, mate? What is it, Honda? It's a Honda NSX second generation. Right, so it looks like it's about to take off. <laughs> if only it had wings, eh? Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Show you this vehicle one more time. You all right, Andy? Yeah? You see, this one's had a really bad side collision. And if this customer was doing more than 150, while he was driving that on the puddle, this would have been the outcome. So it's a good thing that he's come to fix mode this morning. There's only 26 of these cars, is that right? Oh, overall in the UK, in there the are UK. 31. 31. Really nice. Dylan, you sure you don't want to get your um, flatbed? Just lie down and do it now. You alright, yeah? Just bring the bar to the You know, you laugh just because it's going to fall out the bar. Oh, is it? So, some of these cars, when the under tray is fitted, it's connected with the arch liner. Yeah. So, if you were to disconnect that, the arch liner might come loose. So, we're going to have to somehow That's put it. it together for you. And I don't think you're going to get this part anytime soon. And that's just worth cutting that bit off now, but. Yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah, that? and then at least he's got that piece there. Yeah. yeah. Do that then Dylan, do the best thing that you can man. Because he needs to get to he needs to get to London. I've got to get to London for the thing in the trip. Yeah. Yes, whoever makes him go to London, that's the main thing. That's about 300 miles away. The braking system's obviously exaggerated because of the performance. You won't get these discs on a normal car. You can see it's taking up the whole space of the the wheels. Beautiful. Yeah, 
Yeah, so basically I'm short staff today, mate. One of the office lads, one of the office lads hasn't turned up. One of the mechanics hasn't turned up. So, yeah, yeah. I was amazed. You were the first people I called because of your reviews on Google. Oh, fantastic, mate. Thank you very much. And I was amazed that you could fit me in at all. Fantastic, so mate. I thought thank you were just going to say sorry, mate. Just leave no. us a review when you can, mate. And obviously, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from London worry. as well. South London. I studied mechanics in... I studied uh, in City of Westminster College. Right. I studied where mechanics. Where did you live? Camberwell. My girlfriend, Charlotte, lives who I've just been talking to, lives in Camberwell. Fantastic. Camberwell, Camberwell uh, was uh, John, John, John Ruskin Street. Oh, right. John Ruskin Street, opposite the big park. What's up, bro? What do you think? We're doing high performance cars now, so what do you think? Push yeah, team, good man, stuff, yeah. Team. Nice, isn't it? expensive car we don't want it to drop no. we'll take our time we'll take it back down Dylan we'll take our time taking it down yeah This Honda was about to take off, but we've saved it from taking off by taking this under play off. Eh? Right, so we're gonna go back on the wood, yeah?
But obviously don't crash into the... <laughs> Right, mate, so we can go a little bit back now. Perfect. Oh. We've just got this BMW driving in, I think. Something sounds like the engine's knocking, isn't it? That's engine. That sounds like a crank. The crank's gone on this. Yeah. I think you rang me, mate, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, sorry, man. You already on the video, yeah? Huh? You already on the video? Yeah, man. <laughs> so, so, what's happened? Did you ring me, did you? Yeah, yeah, Salam. Salam. Are you from around here? Um, well, I live, I live in Scotland. By, by listening to that, so he's, he's just drove from Scotland. So, by listening to your engine, it does sound like a misfire. It's got a little bit of smoke coming at the back, but what happened exactly? Hey. So, um, I was driving back home. Then all of a sudden, no oil pressure. Then, no oil pressure. Yeah, check. You know when you see no oil pressure, mate, you meant to stop the engine straight away. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, no oil pressure means oil the engine is not receiving oil. Yeah. And how it works is the oil pump spits the oil from the top to the bottom of the engine. Yeah. And then that lubricates the whole working system. Now, if yeah. there's no lo oil lubricating the top, you know then it's not going to be going to the bottom from the top. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that nothing's damaged. So what you're going to do is yeah. just drive it in there so you're not blocking anybody. And then I'm going to have a look at it. Yep. Leave you the keys then, and then I'll come back. Okay, so drive it in there for now, mate, and then we'll have a look. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Yeah, sounds like it's had no oil pump working. And obviously it's, I don't think there's a return on that engine. Well, mate, are you in a rush to go? Can I just get a video of the interior? Do you want to open oh, yeah, it up for me? It's a bit, it's a bit crap, eh? No, it's fine. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get some stuff out of your way here. Can I just press it here? Yeah. Leave us the key. Bro, leave us your key and leave us your number, please. We're going to just check what we think it is. Check no, we're putting the computer see if this pump's working. You just open it up for me, mate. Yeah, Bro, I've got your number. number I'll yeah. speak to you over the phone. Right. Yeah? So, I think it's oil pump. Yeah, but the, the oil pump has failed. But then the way it's knocking, it doesn't sound good. So I'm going to give you a little bit of expectation. Just imagine the engine is probably 90%. It's knackered. So I'm just going to give you that advice. So at least you're not going to be hoping anything to go right. 90% knackered. Night, by the sound of it. Right. But obviously, don't take my word for it. Let me do my inspection. And then I'll go from there, okay? So yeah. leave it with me. I've got your number, mate. No worries. Thanks, uh, pal. And your receipt of six, yeah? Yeah, five. Five, five today. Five today. Yeah, right, just bring the, the There's a nice car wash around the corner, mate. Okay, bro. Thank you. Just get out a bit more present. I just love that red interior yeah, and that steering nice. wheel is beautiful. I mean, it's amazing what we've got on earth, but some people can afford it, you know? <laughs> I'm sure I can. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, man, my dream is a Lambo, to be honest. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Because, you know, the sound on the Lambo is just out of this world. So, yeah. yeah one day soon, they'll be all in there. Yeah. It's well, like... beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. NSX. My first camo still in a car like this. Is it not common? Uh, very rare. Very, very rare. 
the same thing. So we'll Thanks, so. Paul. We'll come and see us if you can. See you mate. Take care. Really Baba, you got everything? Yeah. Thank you. Let me just quickly get in video of you. Thank you.